Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I have not just one Darth Revan, I have two Darth Revan. Huh? One, two! You don't believe me? See? Two! Haha, <laughs> you thought I might have been just pulling over one and calling it two. No, I have two. And one of them happens to be a variant. Not in terms of design, but in terms of packaging. Now, I didn't know a lot about this character. In fact, I still don't know a lot about this character. So let me go ahead and read the back of the box in English because I don't really understand the French language and Diana's not around to be able to translate the, uh, the Spanish wording here. Uh, Darth Revan. The enigmatic, what are you saying? I can't see up close without peering over my glasses? You just keep that to yourself. I'm going to keep reading this here. The enigmatic former hero of the Jedi Civil War, Darth Revan, continued to play a pivotal role in the ongoing war between the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic. Now, I didn't know anything about this character outright uh, when I got the Lego minifigure years ago, and I opened it. I removed it from the poly bag, which was kind of a regret because those are worth a lot inside the poly bag. So over the past day or two, I picked up a local poly bag of Darth Revan and it was intact at a pretty good price uh, compared to the going rate. The one figure I wish I would have picked up when it was available was the three and three quarter inch scale Darth Revan. That's the one I want. This is the six inch version uh, from the Black Series, uh, number 34 in the, the current packaging uh, lineup. And uh, I do have one that is pretty much going to stay in the box. Uh, I'm probably going to be ultimately removing both of these, but you can see uh, the difference outright in when I uh, had referred to the packaging. Uh, you know, one has a cape. This is the newer one here. Uh, the cape is tucked behind the character versus this one, the original release in that particular wave. Um, I did mention, as soon as I found that this was available, uh, I, I mentioned the link to where you get one at a normal rate rather than paying an outrageous rate. Uh, I got it for 20 bucks. This one right here. This one was included in the Wave, so it was the Wave case that I bought around uh, the last uh, uh, holiday season for Life Day. Um, but, you know, I... I I, I, I probably will not hold on to this Darth Revan packaging variant because I'm not really interested in packaging variants as much, and plus the box is not in pristine condition. So, um, yes, if you do know where I can find either a loose or a carded 3 and 3 quarter inch Darth Revan that's still in good shape, uh, you let me know. That would be great because I would love to have that scale. That's like my favorite scale. Okay, fine. I'm going to move on and do the thing that I love to do, and that is tear into the packaging. You know, I'm not going to hold on to the package, so why do I care if it's in good shape or not? I don't. Oh, that graphic up there is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm still going to tear into the box. <laughs> I, should, I, I should probably slice through the tape, man. That is, that is industrial strength tape. This is just so much more fun to just tear through. Okay, there's the classic packaging. Uh, nothing unique there. You can see there's the cape uh, behind the plastic. So it must have been uh, tucked behind in the new case. Uh, I don't know if I'll find out anytime soon. We have two lightsabers. One's purple, one's red. Um, this is not the thing I'm most interested in, the lightsabers. The accessories I tend to lose, or I tend to not keep with the figure, especially if they're loose and kind of being uh, played with and tossed about. This Darth Revan, oh wow, that lightsaber is bent. Actually, they're both kind of bent. I don't know if the hilt was designed to uh, be that way, but you can tell the slight bending there. I guess I gotta do more Revan research. I can do that. Let's go ahead and pop him out. I don't think there's anything that's holding him back apart from the cape behind the plastic. Oh, wait, hang on. FYI, I do need to get the scissors over here because the cape, just for future reference, is attached. There we go. Okay. I did not tear a hole in the cape. It actually comes pre-holed, the cape down there. See, it's tattered and torn. So even if I did tear it, it would kind of be in character. Yeah, I, I, I think... Uh, I think this is easily going to become one of my favorites. Uh, not because I knew a lot about the character outright, but because specifically the way it's designed. Um, though I'm not really a uh, uh, someone who's into Legends all that much, 
Uh, some people are, and I, you know, don't want to take away from that. It's just that uh, to me, uh, I tend to stick to what is canon. When it comes to figures, though, I, I don't care as much, believe it or not. I, I, I'd, I'd easily collect a, a Legacy or a, a SWEU Star Wars figure. But in terms of, you know, what I might, you know, call to mind in terms of intelligence or, you know, data or research, I'm not as, as deeply invested into uh, SWEU or, or Legends as much as other people are. But, uh, yeah, just like it is with the rest of the, the Black Series, you know, you've got your normal points of articulation that is you would expect at the elbows, wrists, head barely turns. In fact, as I'm trying to turn its head because the, uh, the plastic around its hood um, not soft goods, uh, which is kind of a surprise, honestly. And, you know, what's going to be nice about having two of these rev on is that I'm going to try to remove, without permanently damaging the figure, uh, the, the plastic hood on the other one that I, that I open. Um, you've got uh, joints at the knees, at the uh, uh, heel, uh, and again, swiveling at the waist. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice combination between soft goods and uh, a softer plastic, a pliable plastic somewhat, um, and a figure that quite honestly looks breathtaking. So not that I'm going to be spinning up a, a Revon collection, or Revan collection, Darth Revan, a Darth R, as I'm going to start calling him. Uh, but I, that I know of, there are only three figures available. This one, the Lego minifigure, which I have, um, loose, and also now in polybag, and then the uh, three and three quarter inch figure, which I would, would love to have. Uh, unfortunately, you can't pay for that figure with love. But I, I love you, and I appreciate you. And at this point, may the force be with you.